Now who that? Who that? Who do that? Do that? Put that Garfield over all? Oh, don't you knew that? Knew that? Good luck. Some kind of Ukrainian beer. Это нормально. Hello and welcome back to Garfield of the Week. It's that show on YouTube where I read you Garfield directly from the source. Right from the paper. You know how hard these are to get? Every Sunday. Every fucking Sunday. I have to call up the Oregonian and fucking scream at him because they gave it to my neighbor or because they chucked it straight into the trash or they stood outside in my house and just yelled at me until I came outside and, and to keep getting into fist fights with the goddamn paper boy. This is hard to get and that's why I'm here on YouTube just trying to chronicle it because I don't know what else to do. It's such a source of turmoil for me and it just drives me up a fucking wall every Sunday having to worry about this thing. Where is it? Why isn't it at the end of my driveway? I never know what's going on. <laughs> Luckily, I know how to press record and I know how to read and maybe you don't. Maybe you don't know how to read. Maybe you lost your eyes because you have spent too long dreaming and you, you woke up in some kind of weird hunter's nightmare and you just you don't have enough insight so you really can't see what's going on around you that's why i'm here my job is to grant you eyes so that you may see and they're metaphysical eyes because and you're, you're just gonna have to listen and imagine unless you want to pay you know like what is it like 700 dollars a year for this subscription to a paper it's ridiculous inflation is inflating and it's just it's not gonna stop and we don't know what to do i don't know what to do So, anyways, uh, I'll read you what happens today in Garfield, and let me tell you, it's a good Garfield today. It's a really good Garfield. The title panel is, is awesome. It's very artistic. Garfield's holding an umbrella. For some reason, there's a cloud off to the side of his head, and it's raining on him horizontally. So you might not know this, but rain typically falls from the sky. Hold on. Rain typically falls down from the sky, from clouds, vertically. But in this title panel, the rain is falling horizontally. And it's hitting Garfield in the face, it's going right under his umbrella. So clearly he expected rain, but he didn't expect the rain to be flying sideways. <laughs> so in the first panel, um, we got Garfield and Arlene, and they are surprisingly animated. They're skipping through what seems to be some kind of pasture or field. There's daisies everywhere. There's two butterflies fluttering. There's even a bird flying overhead. And he looks to be on crack. Or perhaps cocaine. Maybe some kind of uh, Super Bowl of the two. I'm not sure. I've never done them both at the same time. Okay, but it turns out that this first enchanting panel, it's a dream. Because in the next panel, Garfield wakes up. And he's so happy. And he's happy. He, and he struts in the next panel, all, all smug. He struts off. And he goes into the kitchen where he sees fucking John and Odie just bedraggled. And both grumpy. They both look hungover as fuck. They both look incredibly hungover. And they're just they're sitting there like this. And the window's behind them, and it's raining in the background. And they look miserable. Worse than I've ever seen them look. And Garfield is not surprised and, like, not happy about this. And so he runs back to his bed, and he falls back asleep. And that uh, dreamy dream that he was dreaming dreams back up. And uh, he's running through the meadow with Arlene again. And he's back and safe and sound in his bed. This is something we all hope for. This is something that I want in my life. I, you know, man, I love going back to bed. You ever do that? You ever just wake up, do a couple things, and then be like, fuck this. Go back to bed. 
Let's see what people on the internet are saying about today's Garfield comic. So we're going to go to gocomics.com slash Garfield. Now you may not know this, but Go Comics is a social media site. You can have an account on there. And you can post comments. Check it out. It's got 61 comments. It's got 288 likes. That's a lot of likes. And it's got... 33 saves so 33 people liked today's comic enough to save it and not only that but they liked it enough to have an account on go comics and bother with that kind of thing let's see what the people got to say about it now this guy right here if you go on these comments you're gonna see clarence every single day clarence is a absolute top bloke and so he says, unfortunately, Monday got John and Odie early. That is an app assessment, Clarence. I would love to meet these people that are posting these comments on this website. We've got Sean Fear says, yeah, I really wish I can do that as well. <laughs> uh, Alicia Dawn says, Mondays were even mentioned in the new Garfield movie, which is a great comment because Mondays aren't mentioned anywhere in this comic. So Dave G1960 says, the day after the night before, party on dude dot 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 two and four says it is better to stay in bed during a gloomy day look a premium member i don't know what that entails but i assume that that means that they're paying a subscription sarah bowl one says do what makes you happy there's zero negativity in these comments i love it so much this is my this is my favorite one out of all of them john lemo says i'm retired now so every day is a good day, if I can't remember what day it is. Oh, good lord. Okay, so, what's the point of this? The point is that you should go on Go Comics and you should look at the Garfield comment section because there's something about them. There's something about them that I can't, I can't quite put into words, but man do I find it entertaining. In unrelated to Garfield news, did you guys see the Metal Gear Solid Delta trailer yet? Whose crazy idea was this anyway? Holy ass! That got me excited. You guys, Metal Gear Solid is like one of my favorite franchises of all time. I was a little skeptical. I was a little skeptical when it got announced and like seeing the the cutscene footage trailer that they already released was, was pretty cool, but they showed some actual gameplay footage and like the CQC looks amazing. The graphics are radical, like so cool. Hearing David Hayter as Snake, even though they're not new voice lines, they're just uh, reusing the old recorded voice lines, seeing David Hayter as Snake again felt so cool. It was awesome. That got me really hyped. I hope you guys are ready for that because I am so, so ready for Delta to hit. I can't wait to play Metal Gear Solid 3 again. It's one of the greatest games of all time. Let me know what you thought of that down in the comments. And let me know what you thought about today's Garfield down in the comments as well. Anyways, thanks for checking out Garfield of the Week. Remember to be nice to yourself, be nice to other people, and above all, have a fucking awesome week, y'all. Uh, we'll see you next week at the 100th episode where there's going to be a giveaway. I have something to give away. Uh, it's a brand new thing, and it's, it can be yours if you watch next week's video and uh, participate in the contest. So I'll see you next week. Later.